Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> it's the Oracle Fairy. That throat shock. <laughs> um, I heard something about like a, a revival. Let me turn this down. Um, some type of like deliverance actually is the direct word I heard. That's the exact word I heard. So I don't know, somebody could be getting like delivered from something or like... Let's see what's going on. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day so far. You know, excuse me, y'all. Let me apply my oils. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all like oils do y'all like working with like oils prophetic oils or holy oil i don't know manifesting oil i put everything is intention they said what is it oil is the blood of the earth or something like that like it's oil is powerful water is powerful but that may just be me. Something about anointing oil, though. It's just here for somebody. Maybe you can be guided to, like, work with that or make your own oil. What is going on? Whatever it is that you've been praying for or trying to manifest is on its way to you. Keep believing and know that spirit is always working on your behalf. Deliverance is what I heard, though. For somebody who could be praying for, like, deliverance from something or, um, um, whatever you're praying for, period. I feel like this is what spirit is trying. It's not trying to. Spirit gets the job done. Spirit is going to deliver something to you. Deliverance, deliver. Like, you're about to get, like, whatever it is that you're asking for. Um, I heard it, something that's breaking free. This could be you, some, some form of like a stronghold for some of you. It says spirit is coming to remind you that resilience is in your blood. You have the power to overcome anything life may have to throw at you. You're feeling defeated about your about any situation in your life right now. Spirit says don't, for you may bend, but you are without a doubt unbreakable. I heard deliverance. I, I heard, I don't know. So somebody could be getting really like released from something or um, delivered from like something that maybe had a hold on you at one point. I feel like whatever this is that you've been like praying for or like trying to manifest is coming in for you. It says, let go of the fear of the unknown. We often fear the unknown because we are too attached to familiarity. Spirit is encouraging you to face the unknown with a brave heart. Remember that you are never alone. So if some of you, it, it took like resilience getting to this point. You went through something that was like very hard or heavy. Let me turn this down because I don't know if y'all can... Oh, these are freebies on YouTube. I don't think too deep about it. Whatever you've been holding on to, something about forgiveness. You can need to forgive yourself for possibly not seeing the truth about a situation, not letting go of a situation when your intuition was telling you to let go of a situation. It's something about like seeing the truth in a situation. Y'all like my outfit? <laughs> um, I feel like too, some type of fear was related to why you kept holding on to something or maybe this is like with this deliverance energy again i get like a revival energy too so i feel like source is encouraging you to face the unknown with like a whatever this is that it's like you have to know that you're going to overcome whatever this is or that this is not too much to get past especially because you may not know what the future holds or like the outcome of something i feel like um it says forgiveness is the key to healing and letting go. So something y'all, it's like it has to do with someone that you need to forgive or forgive yourself for not like seeing the signs or forgive yourself for maybe a mistake that you made. Of course, everybody, we are humans. We all make mistakes. Maybe you felt like it was a situation that you could have been wrong in. But I do feel like, um, oh my fucking God, like two different people are calling me like at the same damn time. Like this is so irritating. I have two different like, <laughs> one person calling me on this device, the other person like, dang, uh, so, yes, baby. I don't know. Um, 
You could just need to her sit in the face of God, sit in the face of the divine, something that you're about to be delivered from, or that you're about to be, it's, it's being released from your energy, some form of like fear, some form of struggle that you, it's something here, but I feel like, it, it, I also heard, oh, wow, uh, now I see why Source had me looking into that. I heard for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the um, principalities and powers. The darkness that lies in like heavenly places or something like that. Principalities are like high level ranking demons who attack like, they attack like territories. They attack like kingdoms and shit that you're building. Um, demons attack individuals specifically. So I feel like somebody here, you have not been dealing with like, yeah, you've been, you were dealing with like strongholds at one point and maybe you had, everybody has like, I feel like demons that they battle. It, baby, it's something about you. First of all, you, I, I don't know what type of territory you're being led into. God damn, Source is giving it to me like this. I get it now. Source is going to lead somebody somewhere. I don't know if you're already in the midst of the territory. It could be like a move that somebody's about to make or it's like some type of, oh God. The divine is talking. It's, 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 source is leading you to a territory or leading you towards, like, say somebody's moving or, like, you go to a new work environment or, like, baby, it's something, I heard, like, corporate or something. Like, you could be going to, like, a new big job or, like, it's something that someone is doing. It's, like, source is moving you or to a new location, a new territory, a new environment or something like that. Because, baby, I heard you are supposed to be combating some form of, like, not, it's like wrestling. We wrestle, it's, they say, not against flesh and blood. So, with principalities, like, we have the power to cast out demons and things like that, right? God has given us the clearance. We are the children of the divine. Yes, we're not, like... What is that called? Like, I guess, like, seraphims and ser seraphims and all the other shit that got, like, the labels. But I feel like we still have power because that has been bestowed upon us by the Father. Whatever it is you do believe. So I feel like somebody here could be, like, very prophetic, very powerful, a spiritual warrior or something like that. You're wrestling against principalities, baby. I feel like, too, you have to welcome in. Something. I was talking about, like, anointing oil or something like that that's significant for somebody, baby. I feel like somebody here, you have been wrestling against maybe some form of principalities or especially, like, in a new place that you go to because you are, I heard you are sources. What did they say? A prophet will never be respected in their own hometown. So I don't know if somebody was moved in, out of their hometown or you're being relocated, baby. It's something about principalities. You could be being moved somewhere and you're wondering, like, why did, why did God I be here why am I being got here it's principalities I feel like you're going to know once you get to a new place a new environment it's some type of energy there that you're you're meant to like um cross bring a change to something or mm, I heard when you come into an environment those spirits they rattle like they're and these are high level ranking demons who like yes they they they're not regular demons they're not the type of demons that like all you got to do is like uh throw holy water on I mean, I don't even know if that's real but it's like these are like demons like it's gonna t you have to wrestle with these demons like it's I feel like somebody here though you have experience with like strongholds you have experience you've been fighting some form of like strongholds since you were like younger or something like that and I also heard, was hearing like it's some form of like you have, we have to understand that demons don't like us. They don't love us, okay? okay? So that's something that somebody has to understand. Like, But I'm also hearing, like, it's something about you that, like, I don't know why I feel like these spirits kind of, like, I don't know. It's like, ugh. They, first of all, you've been, you have a high level purpose and these spirits have been trying to stop you or like demons. I don't really want to make this seem like hocus pocus, but I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I believe in real life casting out demons and shit. Like, I've come from families that, like, we've seen this shit with the, with eyes and shit like that or like my family come from like i i don't i don't still go to church but my family came from churches where they literally used to cast out demons and shit like that none of that shit that they do in these churches nowadays where they just pass around the basket and they, they make it look good like no they got down to the business okay so that's that real like you know how they used to do shit mm, back in the day type of thing and i feel like i don't know for whoever you are you have like a high level purpose and you could have been wrestling against what remember i heard the first word i heard when i when i was coming on here was deliverance you could be meant to like deliver some people or like your story or your testimony it's something about you delivering others with like or you helping to deliver others or you're being delivered from like a, a stronghold i don't feel like this principality could have been like because principalities attack more so like again territories it was like uh i believe archangel michael in the bible he fought the prince of persia and ain't that something because they made a, a disney movie called the prince of persia the whole time that was a fucking principality so let's not even get too deep in that because, baby, I'll take y'all down a rabbit hole. But anyways, the Prince of Persia was a principality that Archangel Michael and damn near Gabriel was wrestling with. So Archangel Michael, we love us, good Archangel, Archangel Michael, real loyal, real strong, real protective. So he was fighting the principality. So I don't know, some of y'all need to call in Archangel Michael or like those warring angels. Some of y'all need to call in your warring angels because they're waiting on you. They're waiting on your goal. My ear is ringing. Somebody is somebody is highly, highly protected and like calling my right ear. 
So I feel like for some of y'all, source is helping you to release. I feel like you have her light as a feather. You have to be on a certain like vibration to be able to combat this. Something about Asia and Persia. Somebody names could be Asia. Um, Risa, I heard Reese, Risa, Reese, Asia. Um, okay, or the oh, Asia could be significant or uh, Persia. Um, it says spirit confirms that you are ready to take that leap of faith. Trust that spirit has your back 100%. This leap will open doors to amazing, amazing changes in your life. Go ahead and jump already. The time is now. For some of y'all, this is definitely about a situation. Like I said, source is relocating you. Source is moving you. Source is bringing, excuse me, some form of like a change into your life. And I do feel like, man, I ain't gonna lie to some of y'all. This is not going to be like, a, like, it's meant to like bring amazing changes. And like the reward I heard is going to be monumental. The reward is going to be life changing. Yes. But baby, understand what comes with, it comes with the price. Everything comes with the price. And I heard uh mm. baby you you got some form of like spiritual clearance because i'm hearing like spirit i'm literally hearing like warfare like um but you are someone who sources sitting into like a battlefield i'm hearing like Dan daniel in the lion's den talk about it i heard daniel's in like the lion's den like source could be sitting you in the midst of like a very like i heard like a war zone even somebody could be like in the army or something like that 11 11 i don't know if somebody was like in the army or that you were in the army or you were thinking about going to the army or like it's something here like uh, but it's given like spiritual warfare that you're about to be like sources sitting you out because y'all it's like a cry like i can feel it I don't be going to cry on all my videos, but it's like a cry that's like in my in my heart. And I feel like I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I feel because it's the power that's on this energy and whoever you are. So source is encouraging you to like recognize your power. Um, something about you needed to just be in this energy of like release forgiveness like because i feel like that's going to be more healing and that's going to allow like your angels to like work with you and like give you this the, what you need to kind of combat this energy because these demons these principalities or whatever they want you to hold on to shit they want you to be angry they want you to wake up and just be in an energy of like turmoil and like that's how you know a demon is at work you in relationships and it's never no peace you your family always are that's how you know the demons are at work and they damn near do it you damn near plan into their plan because source is not sending you the spirit of, first of all, fear. Because that's what source is helping you to combat, it says. And also, I'm hearing, it, source doesn't work in the energy of, like, confusion and, like, all of that. But a love, power, and a sound mind. So, if it don't come from love, feeling empowered, and your mind being in a, in a stable place. Like, you've been feeling all over the place. You feel mentally drained. And you feel mentally, like, confused. And you feel, like, manic. And you're all, that ain't, that ain't coming from the divine. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is how you know that it's other shit at work right now. And this is why source is telling you, right, it's time for you to release. It's, it's a freeing energy. It says release it so you can be free. It says forgive. Spirit says now is the time to do so. It's no, it's no need to hold on to hurt, anger, or pain. You don't have to be in that energy of hurt. You don't have to be in that energy of anger. You don't have to be in that energy of even pain and suffering. I'm here. Source is giving somebody the clearance to be free, literally, of, to be peaceful, to be in this energy of life. And I'm telling you, it's going to take you. You gonna hire, I heard you're going to have to fight for this peace, though. You're going to have to war for this peace, though. Are you willing to fight for it? Are you willing to put on like the armor or like, I know I'm not even trying to sound too like religious, but baby, I'm telling you, somebody in this damn reading is fighting some form of spiritual warfare or sources. Like you are a spiritual warrior. So what, what can you do? You are one of like God's warring angels or like you have that energy within you. So why not use it? Why not combat that energy that's been clinging to your bloodline for eons and millennials? It's like, why not? You were the one, you got it in you. So why not? Source put some in you that I feel like it is rare. It was putting you for a reason, okay? So it's time to use that. It says, Spirit says that you are the magician. Whatever it is that you wish to have in this lifetime, you must develop the willpower to make it happen. And it's yours. Baby, it's yours. You have to make it yours. You want peace? Make it yours. Make it your peace. You want this love? Make it this love. Make it your love, okay? Whatever it is that you want. You, you want harmony? You want, you want, you want, I don't know. Whatever it is that you could want. Whatever it is that you could want for yourself. You want a family? But it's going to take you actually working for that healing and you working for that peace of mind and your family and that love. So that these, these, I'm hearing these, these, and then you want a legacy. That's when the principalities show up. I'm hearing the principalities show up when you reach a certain level of power. And whoever you are, you're reaching a certain level of power or you're going there in the future. And this is when the principalities going to show up for your ass or something like that. that it, uh, you don't have to believe it. New levels, new devils is what I'm hearing. New levels, new devils. And yes, you were you were fighting a little shit at one point. Like you could have always been fighting like spiritual warfare because baby, it's just, it comes with the territory. You are a powerful warrior. You were powerful priestess, I'm hearing, or or prophet, prophetess. If somebody here is like a seer or something, and I feel like um you are highly guided, but you always have been combating some form of warfare since a child. I heard since the, the moment you step into a hey, before you were even born from your mama's you were in the womb like it's because these entities knew that you were i heard the, the arrival of like you know how everybody knew about the arrival of like yeshua and then i'm not comparing you to like jesus or anything but it's like 
I feel like when you have a high level purpose, you don't think them entities know when you're, your date, damn near the date of birth, the time you finna be born. The, they know that. These are familiar spirits. That's how they didn't be knowing the scripture better than some of you, some of the damn preachers. They say Jesus' name just as good. Like, who Jesus? Yeah, I was in heaven. What am I? Principalities are angels who were once, excuse me, who were once angels. They're fallen angels who were once angels. Now, not all demons were once angels. That's what y'all, I don't know if many people understand that. All fallen angels, they were not angels. All of them were not angels. But excuse me, like I said, I don't want to get too much into that because I would have to break everything down. But like some of them were just, they were, they were like other divine energies are like um because like um i believe demon means not not divine or like not heavenly or something like that not something like that um i feel like it's a situation in life that you it's something that you may need to forgive yourself for i don't know if you blame yourself for something or like situations that didn't work out but again it's something about you being the magician and having the power to turn about turn around any situation i heard you have the power to free yourself from any stronghold you have the power to cast out any type of demons you have the power to manifest anything you want to your life anything that you may see as like affecting you affecting somebody that you love you are the one who has the power to cast that out something about isis somebody could be really connected to like isis it says there are some major blockages in your life that spirit is helping you to assist you with reading spirit says call upon them what did i, what did I not just tell somebody to call upon the angels and specifically i'm hearing like michael you know i know gabriel was wrestling with the prince of persia but he was struggling a little bit but like they was putting, i don't know if it was really like a struggle but like he michael had to come in put in that that, that muscle that that back <laughs> Put his back into it. Put a little bit of elbow grease into it. So I love music, Michael, though. So somebody could really work with, like, an archangel, like, Michael, or something about the color, like, blue. Um, I'm just hearing, like, call upon those warring angels. If you don't know their name, you should probably, like, look into that or, like, just call upon the warring angels. They know who they are. But I like to call them out by name, okay? Like, so I, I feel like... um Whatever blockages that you may be facing at this time, it says spirit is helping you to rid them, um, helping you with whatever blockages that, you know, was in your life. But it's something about a lesson that you were going through. Um, sources guiding you through lessons. I feel like you're very innovative or something like that. Energy, again, like I said, source could be sending somebody to like a new territory, a new land, um, a new job or something like that. Um, I feel like right now... Somebody here could have struggled with like arrogance in the past. Maybe you were like very arrogant. It's something about arrogance. Um... I sort of really don't like that because it doesn't allow you to be on the energy of like connecting to other people when you like look at yourself as like sitting above you. I don't know if that was you guys, but it's somebody, maybe that's something that you had to like work through that could have been like a stronghold or like so you could relate to other people better. Not saying that, you know, maybe you do think you I'm different than other people. I'm not the same. You you you're not the same. You're very different. But even I'm hearing like source doesn't want you to because I do get a very powerful individual. So don't let this energy of like you knowing that you have some form of a spiritual ranking and clearance, like don't let that. I don't know, I don't feel like it will though, because I feel like because source hasn't trusted you, but we're, we're still human. We all still learning. Rose said that could have been why you were going through some talking you maybe. So I just have to kind of, you know, like, hey, you know, check that because that's damn near why the, the, you know, Lucifer had his fall. It was arrogance. It was pride. And we don't want to get into that energy because it disconnects us from our, like, our true heart, our true spirit and nature and, like, the divine and then connecting with other people. And ultimately, that's the purpose of it all so that we can understand and connect with others and each other better. Like, that's what source is, like, we're supposed to, like, help each other and free each other and love each other. So, I, it's something about you. Somebody um, maybe needed to work through some form of blockages and it could have just been, like, somebody's own inner issues. Some of these blockages could have been, like, you know, strongholds that maybe you were battling at one point, just in whatever way, shape, or form. Definitely, like, somebody needs to silence their mind. Again, I was picking up on that energy of, like, mental confusion that somebody was dealing with at one point that did not come from the divine. It was kind of, like, trying to, like, slow you down and trap you inside of, like, your own head. I feel like um, sources saying if you go, like somebody needs to go into like meditation. I also heard like speaking, speaking those, saying I am free. I am free from every stronghold. I am mentally free. No, any um, stronghold or uh, dark attachments to my mind space, anything trying to confuse me, anything, you know, just speaking it out loud. Like I am now free and just keep affirming that and uh, repeating that and possibly like somebody can need to like meditate. And I feel like that's going to help like your, your, um, your thoughts begin to like calm. But I, I, I definitely feel like it's something here about you being sent out to war against some form of like warfare uh something about a legacy i'm also hearing like somebody could be meant to like build a legacy in this lifetime or like um I also feel like it's something about you needing to train your mind and literally the mind i heard the power of the mind somebody's somebody, something about isn't that like a i don't know somebody could read like eckhart Tolle books 
I feel like you don't focus on like the negative. Focus on things that you're very grateful for. If you want ways to like raise your vibration, say that you have trouble with overthinking and you begin thinking like you don't know how to like clear your mind. Like maybe you have trouble thinking about bad things that didn't even happen yet. I heard source say like a way that you can combat that is just start saying things that you're grateful for. Start saying things that like, okay, so this is how your mind plays tricks on you in spirits. They'll be like, oh, your partner's going to cheat on you. Your partner's going to, but the whole time it's never happened. They didn't give you any signs that that was going to happen. Or like maybe you were having like bad dreams and like you were just wondering like why something was happening to you. I heard like the way you could combat that type of energy, just start in a moment seeing like things. If you could think of stuff that's not even happened yet and you were seeing it like, oh, this is a possibility that can be true. Then start seeing shit that hasn't happened yet that, that could come true. That's good. Like it's just be saying like, oh, oh, I can't wait to my my partner marries me and like you know what I'm saying like play delusional back with the enemy like you want to sit here and put thoughts into my mind or make me have like negative thoughts or self-talk and like intrusive thoughts and then start switching to the narrative like damn or if you thought it was that like oh I can't wait to the day like oh I find a love of my life you know or maybe the enemy was trying to make you feel like you would never find love who could love somebody like you who could they be like oh well just get real like you know be in the energy even if it's like delusional you feel like oh man this is wishful thinking I'm even hearing like be grateful for things that you already have things that's already in your life that's how you combat that energy or just being like oh i'm so thankful for this house i got oh i'm so thankful for that oh i'm so thankful for this mansion even if you don't live in a mansion like just start that's first of all you're going to be manifesting and also like you're raising your vibration while it's like yep 21 11 1 1 1 so it's like you know y'all wow i'm over here just a shuffling at the bottom of the deck we got anticipation and legacy would i lie you're building a legacy. Somebody here is your, it's written for you. And this is why I don't, the, the, I heard the principalities is already waiting on your ass at the point. Like it's the, it's a kingdom somebody gonna step into. And it's like I said, before you were even born, they knew who you were. Some form of an adventure that source is going to be taking you on with mercy. Somebody could, ooh, baby, her, even like have mercy on me. So, ooh, them, they gonna be asking for like mercy, intensity. I feel like, yeah, but the show must go on. Source is telling you like, mm. You may need to like, I don't know if you could need to give somebody like the benefit of the doubt or like forgive someone in the situation or have mercy on someone in the situation. Um, I do feel like, again, maybe you're, you're meant to like build a legacy in this lifetime. You could be anticipating this change that's coming in. You know it's a change that's coming in for you. Heavy Leo energy here. We got Scorpio, heavy Scorpio and Leo. We got Libra. I feel like being something about your nobility, your character is significant for where you're going. Temperance. And that's that very balanced. That's the energy of balance. Libra. Heavy Libra energy. I feel like you're going to be temper. You're going to be balanced. Um, finding a sense of like balance. Yeah. Something about you being very. I feel like people could view you as someone who's very like neutral. Um, very like. Um, especially like you wouldn't. It's like you don't have no bias or source is going to send you into a land or like, I don't know. Somebody's like, you won't have bias towards something. Like you're going to be able to see something clearly um, or something about like you needed to not like have bias in a situation. This temperance energy is it's giving me like some form of balance is going to come through. I do feel like to help you to build a form of like this legacy. I feel like some form of honor that you're going to receive for something that you do in this lifetime. Because it says pleasures are transient. Honor is immortal. Somebody has like an immortal soul too. Like, like all we, our souls are immortal. But it's like, baby, you, it's something that you were meant, you were called to do. Enduring contribution, something of value that persists beyond this creator. Like even after you're going, you're going to be remembered. And I'm definitely like, I'm saying, I'm going to even fucking lie. I'm feeling the energy of like somebody, like you could be called in this lifetime to kind of like, I don't know, somebody's like a, uh, Oh, like a, a healer obviously i'm feeling like empath healer energies like but like a spiritual like warrior like somebody who could be like maybe it's like i don't know like, like a priest or something like somebody could be doing like exorcisms or like that's not what he was like but it's like you are like called to like combat some form of like spiritual warfare maybe just to free your bloodline to help to break these like generational patterns and strongholds and something about you being mindful of like what you're what you're playing into at this time I feel like you're going to be really honored i heard you're going to be a, like an ancestor that your family going to be like calling upon like you're you going to be the one that people when they are in trouble like baby put the put the picture on the altar like go call that one ancestor. like they go you're the one you're gonna be like the go-to ancestor that people are gonna be wanting to like call um but it's in this lifetime you have to like learn to free yourself from something and i feel like it's going to leave the blueprint behind for like people that come after you and this is why you went through i heard like a lot of like 
trials and tribulations and warring. I'm here like warring uh, because you went, you had to, you, unfortunately, you did, you did have to experience something. It's like you're the one who experienced like the rough end of things, but like, so the ones after you don't have to. Yes, it's, you could have recently experienced a tower moment or whatever, and it says it was supposed to happen. It's time to build again on a more stable foundation. Like, say somebody lost a home. Source is sending you somewhere else. Source is going to send you to a new place. Source is going to send you, like, maybe and somewhere that you never saw yourself going. Or it's just something being rebuilt. Some type of step foundation or, like, say you lost, like, a page, like a platform that you were building for yourself. And then you rebrand yourself entirely on an entirely new page. But that was supposed to happen like that. It says, detached from fear for nothing in this world is worth fearing. Fear is the opposite of faith. What was I saying? Source does not give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Okay? Trust that everything will always go. It didn't say sometimes. It didn't say maybe. It didn't say possibly. It said it was going to always go in your favor because whoever you are, baby, you have already got the clearance because you have already been divinely chosen to create like a legacy. And I'm hearing this legacy is actually, you're working in, you're working for the divine. So the divine is working for you. It goes hand in hand. So I heard, if God be for you, who could stand against you? Oh, and if you thought you was protected before, baby, all of these cards are green, legacy, anticipation, temperance. That's health. That's wealth. That's, that's, that's like the heart chakra. That's like love. Something about balance, healing. And this is Leo energy out here too. So somebody could be like, again, maybe somebody have to deal with some form of like, somebody could have like a Leo placements or north node, like purpose. You're meant to like be seen or you're meant to do something powerful and like use your power. It says the gift of fertility is upon you. Whatever you've been wanting to birth into your reality is here. So now the time is now is the time to do so. Somebody could be like pregnant or fertile, very fertile with like new beginnings, very fertile, so that you can birth this legacy. And again, it's the energy of anticipation that's here heavily. The only card that was a different color was mercy. So I don't know. Somebody something about you need to have like mercy on someone or mercy on your, like yourself in a situation. Something that you really need to like choose wisely. I heard like be careful of like again like your choices. What you're, I heard, attuning yourself to. So spirit has, uh, uh, spirit is really encouraging you to keep going. I don't know if it was some form of a situation that was like discouraging you, especially if you did recently go through like a tower or you are someone who you constantly like, you do have towers in your life, but I feel like that's showing you how to alchemize that energy. It's actually helping you to master yourself. And again, like be the alchemist. It says, uh, spirit says, choose wisely. Like I keep saying, be mindful that the decisions you make may have a positive or negative effect on you and or others around you. Because you are this black sheep. You are the generational pattern or stronghold breaker, I'll say. Because we don't claim curses over here. You're doing things differently. You're speaking differently. You're showing up differently. You're thinking differently. You're seeing differently. You know? You are different than those around you. Than the, and again, it, But the source does not want you to get in the energy of like arrogance. You actually need to understand that you're a difference so that you can be the difference. So that you can show other people it's a difference. It's a way to do things different. We don't have to be, you know, we don't have to do things the same way. You actually, maybe you're someone who you're very misunderstood. People usually, they don't really understand you like that. But I feel like they're, they're not supposed to. Those who are for you will understand you. Um, it won't be like a translation that needs to happen, but I'm feeling like be, be careful of what you're deciding for yourself because you are somebody who I feel like you're very powerful. You could be like the glue in your family or like, again, maybe even if you are the black sheep, it's like whatever you do affects other people around you. And I just feel like that's for all of us here on earth. Like we all have an effect on other people because it's all interconnected. But it says you will soon be blessed with financial abundance. Spirit is always honored to give to us the things that we work for, pray for and have faith in receiving. Get ready for your financial blessing. So for some of you, this could keep it coming away of like, finances that you're calling in some form of like i don't know some form of like prosperity in your finances or abundance some form of financial blessings because you're in your purpose you're well in, within your purpose or to help you to like again like it's not to be squandered um it's going towards a higher level of purpose or legacy it says spirit your spirit guides are working very hard to lead you on the right path spirit is advising you to pay attention pay attention it's really something significant about somewhere that you're going somewhere that you're being led and again, be very careful with what you're choosing to accept right now, what you're choosing to. I heard, don't let anybody lead you astray off of this path that you're on. And it's given the book of Eli. And she was telling him, like, how do you know that you're on the right path? Like, you know, you said you've been walking in one way for like all these years. And like, how do you know you're on the right path? And he was like, um, I just know, you know, you just know something that you don't know how you know, but you know. And it's called walking by faith and not by sight. Somebody could be like the prophet, like Elijah or Eli or like um, whatever you've been putting out into the universe is coming back to you. 
And again, whoever you are, baby, because about the, the color green, limitation and presence. There's no time like the present moment. So I feel like right now you need to exist in like the present moment. You have no limitations to you. Sources removing any form of like anything that was kind of like blocking you before. I heard again, like how they have in the movies where you have to, when it's like the main character and they're more powerful than they know. Source was damn near like blocking you from your own power at one point because you are you are a, a force to be reckoned with. I heard a source though. You are a source of power. So you could have had people around you that would have been like trying to almost like drain this source. But I feel like when it's time, source is going to remove some form of, again, it's giving like Lee from Naruto when he had them damn weights on him. The whole time, everybody didn't know how, how cold your boy was. Like source had to weigh you. Almost like source was testing you too. Source was testing you. And I feel like these limitations or whatever this was that you could have felt like you were dealing with, it's something about a Leo or a Libra. Some, you going through a change or you could have heavy like Libra or Leo placements. But I feel like it's balance coming because the, some form of a weight is being lifted. Somebody needed to know that you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't be on a path of enlightenment and like a spiritual path and still choose like that path of like destruction, toxicity, low vibration. You have to choose a path, baby. I'm hearing. So for some of y'all, this is that deliverance energy that you're going through. You're being delivered from like a past path or like a past version of yourself. And again, it's going to take like you've been in this energy of like something about you. Um, Maybe you had favoritism towards a certain path or a certain like people that you were holding on. So you got to release that. <laughs> Something about you being neutral or you're going in this like energy of like, yeah, I feel like something about positivity. It says better to light a candle than curse the darkness. Stay in this energy of positivity. It's, it's Leo and Capricorn energy on this damn car. So something about a Leo. You could be a Capricorn with Leo placements or Leo with Capricorn placements, but it's something about a Leo or a Libra. Um, I'm definitely feeling like staying this energy of like positivity. I feel like it's raising your vibration. It's something about your health right now. You stay positive, even though you're going through like, because something about like these spirits or these like entities, or they want you to get in an energy of like doubting yourself. They want you to get in an energy of like being angry and like pessimistic because you're baby, you're a, a manifester. You are the magician. You are the alchemist. So it's something about you better to be a light. So it says better to light a candle than curse the darkness. So it's something about you, if you need light around you. Remember I was saying then like, if you having like negative self-talk or like negative thoughts, like baby, it's better to be sitting there and be like, okay, well, I'm going to bring some positivity into this energy. I'm going to bring some gratefulness. I'm going to bring some like, you know, even if it got to sound a little delusional, that's being confirmed. I'm feeling for some of you, it's something about you being a light rather than letting your circumstances or things you went through dim your light or make you into something that you're not. Into like, Turning off this light that you were meant to burn bright. You have this light to you because maybe you're meant to light other people's candles. Remember, I said you're the difference to be the difference. Other people around you, excuse me, yep, confirmation. They were going through darkness. They're, they they needed someone to light their match. You are someone who sparks this enlightenment within other people. So how can you be in your purpose if you're sitting here always like beating yourself up, always feeling down, always like in a low vibrational energy, always, always, always like woe is me, always victim mentality. That Did y'all know that's demonic attacks too? So I feel like somebody has been, it's something about you having an optimistic attitude and that's not like, oh, love and light and just that's it. No, it's not spiritual bypassing. I feel like you've dealt with your darkness. Why do you want to sit in that energy? Now it's time for you to be on some real life. Like I ain't finna sit in this energy forever. I can free myself from this depression. I can free myself. Some people might be like, oh, it's just easy. Yeah, it's easier said than done, but it's possible. Something about some type of something that you've been worrying with, some type of stronghold, baby, you're finna be freed from that. Or you already are. Proclaim that it's already done. Unity. Something about this color green that I, it's sending me. It's sending me. Because it's like almost all of these cards like have like a greenish to yellowish like tint to it. It's still like green though, I would say. If you look at all of these. Is this not like a green within like a, a different shade? <laughs> so far as temperance, legacy, anticipation, limitations, presence positivity and unity you are meant to bring unity into like this this realm this earth like you are i heard something about like you come from like another realm you're not from here the force of union conquers all we're all something remember i said we're all meant to be we're all interconnected the purpose is so that we can all be first of all understand each other love each other understand that the biggest illusion is separation so if one of us is in pain if my brother or sister is in pain we are we too are suffering or in pain because i feel like too that this is how like generations have gotten messed up over time because like a grandmother or a father was suffering they were in pain nobody was you know it's, it's like it it, it it pain repeats it, it creates cycles so i feel like that's significant when one when you heal the root you heal all so something about like you healing the roots is given like the roots of like you know have plants and then like it goes into the ground and it's like it's all interconnected that's what it's given like all of our 
our nerves and these cells talk to each other. I'm hearing like it's on a higher, it's, it's, it's on a deeper level than we even know. So some form of like union and listen what's underneath empathy. The empaths that's on this earth, you don't even realize how important you are and how big your purpose is just by you being an empath, just by you having the courage to feel what you feel and be connected to others, to be kind is a gift. To be able to relate to others is a gift. To have empathy is a goddamn gift. I used to have friends that were around me who used to tell me I was too sensitive. Not because I was just reacting differently. to Literally just because I gave a fuck. No, they didn't. They would. Be, they literally would tell me to my face, like, girl, you shouldn't even give a fuck. Like, you should be more, like, you should be more, like, hard body. You should be more, like, bitch, is you serious? Like, girl, I'm over here. I care. I'm sorry. I'm a sensitive kind, so I give a fuck. I can't sit here and act like I don't because I give a fuck. I can feel that person's pain. I don't even know them, and I give a fuck. Like, that's that's type of, you're too sensitive. You care too much. Like, I literally used to get told that by friends. <laughs> but you are someone who's empathetic. You are, you are an empath. And these same people, now I used to see stuff where them, these same people having epiphanies. Oh, it's actually not bad to care. I'm telling y'all, these same people, I ain't gonna, don't, tell, don't ask me how I know. But literally, years later, these same people used to tell me, I, I, I shouldn't care. You care too much. You're too, that, your words they were used, you're too damn sensitive. You're too... Anyways, because I'm an empath and it's that same sensitivity that has opened many doors for me. It's the same sensitivity that has to allow me to combat these, this warfare and these, because I stay on it, baby. You, this empath, if I was meeting these demons with demonic energy today, baby, I don't know. Maybe sure, they would love me more. But because of this, yeah, I feel like because of this, this empath energy, energy that whoever you are, her synergy, you're bringing some form of union or some form of a union that you're meant to be in. It could be romantically because I saw a card that was talking about love. I didn't read it. But uh, some form of like, you could just be here meant to like serve some form of like, you are an empath. It says be kind for everybody is fighting a hard battle. You never know what someone is battling. You never know. I heard there's something about that. For some of you, I heard it's somebody who remembers the kind words that you gave them. It's people who talk about the, the word of advice that you gave them when no one else would answer. It's someone who remembers the time you picked up for them when no one else would answer. It's someone who remembers your kindness just when you smiled at them in the grocery store one day. It's someone who remembers you. It's someone who remembers the time that you took out to sit with them and pray. It's someone who remembers you interceding on their behalf. It's someone who remembers you. It's someone who remembers the time that they felt like they had nothing and nobody, that you made them feel seen and understood. It's someone who remembers you. And that is your power. Your empathy is your power. Your kindness is your power. Whoever you are, I feel like it's something that you did for somebody that maybe you don't even remember. It's something that you did for somebody that you don't even remember how you touched somebody in a certain way. Maybe you felt like it wasn't that big, but I feel like whatever it was, you could have been entertaining. I heard, damn, some of y'all, you could have been entertaining an angel in disguise and you don't even realize it. And this is why, like, you were being blessed. Because of your empathy, your re some type of uh, receptivity that you're about to receive from, like, the divine. Whatever you put out into the universe, I feel like you are an angel in disguise. You. And you could have came across like another like like a, a angel shit. And maybe something that you said, a word that you gave them. But like Aries could be significant. Who talks little, hears better. Something about you being silent now. Something about you listening, you being receptive to like the some form of like advice from other people. Something about you being willing to like, something about a Leo. Somebody could be like a Leo or an Aquarius. Something about you being willing to, like, again, I don't know, somebody could have had, like, a problem, but, like, Eric, and she was, like, a know-it-all. Look, we all here to learn. But you are learning, like, a new way of doing something, a new way of being, a new little way of something about you kind of needed to take the, I heard, let somebody else lead now or let somebody else teach you something or give you something. Give somebody else has something to give you. Um, Something about you needed to be, like, um again, I don't know if it's, like, you need to be, like, kind in this situation. Something about Leo, though. I wouldn't lie. <laughs> Or Capricorn, because on his unity card, it's Libra and Capricorn. Libra, Leo, and Capricorn are like the main energies out here. Libra, Leo, Capricorn. So I feel like now it could be the time where you needed to like uh, learn. I feel like some form of progress is being made in your life. But Source is giving you the, the clearance. You have the clearance. Something about a spiritual bad. Somebody can need to go take a spiritual bath, elegance. You are moving to something purple, baby. We got green and purple out here. So green and purple could be somebody's favorite colors or like you could need to like do something about color therapy, maybe like wearing those colors. Purple is a very like intuitive, psychic, royal energy too. Very like expensive, like green too. Like something about wealth is significant. I feel like you're divine, like royalty. But I'm hearing like uh, the cards that came out is elegance, empathy, and mercy for purple. So I feel like, again, the purple card is elegance, empathy, mercy. 
it's because of your 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 the way you carry yourself, your empathetic nature, your heart, your kind-hearted, pure spirit, the way that you have mercy on other people that maybe don't even deserve it. People who damn near wanted to stab you in your back, damn near if they could spit in your face. Not I'm not saying really, but you know that the energy of you know it's like people. I feel like you still you love like I heard you love like the divine. Even if you don't reconnect with these people, you forgive them in your heart, or the source is teaching you. So that's why, because when you love like the divine, baby, again, source is teaching you how to be more like her, more like the divine or him, whatever you call it. So it's like, so that you could be more of a, like a divine vessel so, so source may work through you, y'all. Serenity. And baby, is it going to be, it's going to bring you like another level of peace. Forgive them people who did you wrong. Hey, I know we don't want to hear it sometimes, but do you really want this peace? I'm hearing you're going to make the fight even hard, or even, excuse me, even easier for yourself when you fully do forgive and have like mercy on certain situations, even yourself, like you making the, the load and the battle easier because I heard every time you forgive somebody, every time you love, you choose to love and forgive, that lights heats of like cold, like, excuse me, that lights like coal and fire on top of like the enemy's head. Like that really like pisses the enemy off because every time you forgive again, every time you, you choose to like, I'm not saying you have to reconcile with somebody and be a fool for them, but it's like giving like you in your heart. You don't hold that energy of like, I hate them. I hate because all you're doing is letting the enemy like put your health and comp compromise your own health, your own spiritual values and your own like, you know. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it. I don't really something about openness. Remain open. You're going to be very like happy. The color yellow is significant. Somebody, a Pisces could be significant or Gemini. Um, somebody's going to really be happy. Um, something about you needed to treat something very lightly. Don't take something too seriously. Be open. Don't knock it to you. Try it type of energy. It's something about, um, again, with that objectivity card that also I was seeing. And it also, it's, it also mentions an objective view on this card. So somebody needs to like be maybe like biased i mean unbiased in a situation um be very lighthearted in a situation or don't take something too serious or like that you would usually take it it says a bow too tensely strong is easily broken so you could have been like very tense in situations you took yourself too serious life too serious but source is trying to help you to ease ease up open up your energy you could have been very closed off because you i don't know if you was like you just in the energy of like being capricorn something about a capricorn we could need to lighten up Sagittarius, and again, we go with this Leo energy. So, amity, amity, excuse me, amity, amity, all for one and one for all, friendliness and warmth in relationships, desire for camaraderie, camaraderie, what's going on? Camaraderie. So, it's definitely like um something about you allowing new energies or maybe like friendly, warm energies, relationships. Again, I was getting like, again, some form of like, I don't know, it could have been warfare on your relationships in your life. Somebody like you could have like had like maybe people in your life. I mean, the relationship that we're, like, going to shits. And, like, somebody can have, like, BPD or something. I know that causes, like, really unstable relationships. I feel like it's because of, like, them. I feel like, baby, strongholds be trying to, like, like, people with, like, I feel like people, and I'm no doctor, but, like, I feel like strongholds work through a lot of, like, people who got, like, mental disorders or, like, illnesses or, like, I do feel like it's because those pe those people have different like gifts and abilities and you sit on a different vibration or something like that and frequency, especially like people like schizophrenia. I feel like they be seeing shit for real. Not just on no like I feel like they are they have they've reached a level of like a frequency that we can't see and shit like that. So people of course will see that as crazy, but I don't know. So they say not like a, a, a the same for a mental illness or anything like that, or like you know, but I mean somebody may struggle with that. I definitely feel like or like again, you just struggle with like maybe connections in your life at one point that were like tumultuous, and I do feel like right now source wants you to remain open. Um, it could have been some form of warfare. I heard like a spirit spouse, spirit wives, or shit like that. Like we're on like relationships that you wondering why they were falling apart. This is why source is helping you to war against these energies to wrestle against whatever because it's not flesh and blood. It's them goddamn principalities and powers. Okay. So it's something about sources allowing is helping you to like be more like almost like harmonious and like relationship. You have a desire for camaraderie or like. You could be like a Leo or an Aries or it's, you could have like a desire to connect with others to have like a level of like um, trust and like um, friendship. And like, I don't know if you just don't trust people or like you were afraid of like people like doing you how they did you in the past. But stay open because I feel like it's an energy of like you're meant to like shine this light for other people or help them to like free themselves. And like something about you connecting, you're meant to connect with people on a, on a higher level. I heard you could have been like you thought you were like or you could have been like um. What is that called? Uh, introvert, but you're actually more in extroverted. But because of like your your upbringing, like your your background, like your environment or something like that, people that you were meeting, they caused you to feel uncomfortable, like you were an introvert. But you're actually meant to be like you're meant to be more in extroverted or something like that because of your purpose. That's why all this Leo energy is out here. 
So somebody could be working on, on, on their confidence, how you show up in front of like other, your self expression or like, or like yeah, with loyalty. So yeah. Um, and it's the only sign that's on here is Leo, you guys. I'm telling you, somebody has like a Leo, or like you can have like you could be dealing with the Leo, you are a Leo, or I, I feel like you're gonna be somebody who you're gonna have loyal people come into your life. I feel like your soul tribe reciprocity and they're going to have equal reciprocity to you they're going to be equally given to you it says do unto others as you would have them do unto you didn't another card come out that said like reciprocity or like receptivity or something like that yeah i think it was receptivity actually so able to like give to others how they, it's like a baby i'm trying to look for the card i'm not sure if i pulled it out though but i remember like reading it but uh yeah you're going to meet some, like, loyal people soon. And it's something about you being able to, like, um, first of all, you're going to remain in, like, a positive, like, energy where in the past you could have been more pessimistic about certain things. But I feel like sources help you to get out of that energy. Something about, like, because you're going to be able to give equally. It's going to be equally your connections, whether it's friendships. I just heard, like, more of your soul tribe that you're aligning with, whether it's relationships, family um, that you're actually connected with. Um, maybe you weren't connected with certain family members before, but now you're going to meet like new family members that are more on your level or people that you didn't come around before. It's something about people that's equally yoked in relationships or it says exchanging for mutual benefit and equal trade or symbi symbiotic relationship, whether it's platonically or romantically. I'm just feeling like um, and just and, and people that you come across just period is going to be more peaceful. And it's a reason I'm hearing that you're meeting these people. Sources want to align you with people who can like help you on your path and vice versa. You're meant to be like a light to these people. It's like a light that lights the light. And then they can light someone else's light. And you know, diplomacy, diplomacy, y'all, diplomacy. <laughs> Blessed are the peacekeepers. Yeah, this is definitely saying diplomacy though. Um, so something about uh, a Libra or a Taurus could be significant. Skills in managing relations, tactful negotiation, mediating effectively somebody can want to like mediate a situation with you or there is like a divine mediation coming in between you and someone else could be a libra or a tourist but i'm definitely feeling like somebody can have skills and like somebody could be like a something about managing you could be a manager somebody could be being like you could be being brought into like a managing management position remember i said sources taking somebody somewhere leading you to another position where i feel like a change is definitely coming over you um where you're gonna have to go through you're gonna have to be more open you're gonna have to learn how to be more positive and be skilled and like um what is that called like um bringing peace to a situation mediating things i don't know if somebody could be like a what is that called like a counselor or something like that like somebody's being given like a a gift or a skill or like a door is opening for you i feel like a, again something about remember this energy of forgiveness was coming up as well i don't know if there's like a reconciliation that's coming up or Something about peacemaking in a situation. But I feel like you are the peacekeeper. Like you are the peacekeeper with serenity and confidence. But it's going to bring some more serenity and confidence in a situation or into your life. Remember I was saying, yeah, Leo energy is on here in Cancer. Cancer, heavy, and Aries. So I feel like, remember I was telling you about how you are meant to be like more confident or something in this lifetime. Maybe somebody was like an introvert or you showed up as more introverted. But you're meant to like connect with more people on a deeper level. So that may take you being more extroverted. Hey, you can still be an introvert when you go home at the end of the day. But um, it says karma is real. Whatever you put out into the universe will surely find its way back to you. Be mindful of what you say and do. Um, you reap what you sow, be it good or bad. So somebody's about to like reap some form of like conf I mean, So somebody's reaping some form of like karma, but I don't feel like it's bad karma. And for those of you who maybe have felt like somebody wronged you in the past, I mean, it does say this is the year of karma. So karma is going to be going back, but I don't feel like you should be like waiting on people to like get karma for what they did for you, to you or like... Somebody needs to get some much needed rest to replenish yourself. I feel like you could be exhausted right now or like this new energy that's coming in for you. It's going to be, it's, it's going to take change. It's going to be speeding some shit up for you, but have confidence and um, be, be at peace with the fact that this change is, it says it's coming in for you. Some form of like being in an untroubled state of being a clear, a clear coast or conscious. I don't know why I can't read today. State of being calm and peaceful. I don't know if somebody had like trouble with like reading or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not laughing at that. I'm just saying, I know somebody like, uh, don't put that on us. <laughs> well, I usually don't. <laughs> believe in yourself and you will have, it says, believe in yourself and you will have already won. So your confidence is actually, again, somebody could be like a Leo or you have like a significant like Leo placement or placements. Um, This belief in yourself or this trust and like this, this purpose, this legacy that you're building, something that source has instilled within you or a certain like ability or just ability period, your ability to do anything. I feel like, baby, 
But now I'm seeing Kanye in my head. You can't tell that man he can't do anything. He can go to the moon if, if he wants to. <laughs> so like he said, I could be an NBA player right now. That man told him in his face, no, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I just feel like it's the, it's, even if it sounds delusional, baby, you can do whatever you want to do. If you put your mind to it, you are a child of the divine. Who is anybody else to try to stand in your way or tell you who, what you can and can't do? Okay. So it says it is time for you to do some self-reflection. Spirit is encouraging you to go within, rediscover. It didn't say, to, baby, rediscover because you may have thought you knew, but you don't know. You don't know. And Source is going to show you who you really are. I heard, ask for Source to show you who you are through Source's eyes. And God damn it. God damn it. If you think I'm here, I'm here. And if you think I'm here to play with you, play around with y'all. God damn it, I'm not. Okay? Because, baby, Source is not going to play with somebody. Your purpose, your angels, they, they ain't got time for that. So Spirit is, is encouraging you to go within and rediscover who you truly are and what you truly want in life. Oh, my God. Can we give it to Source for the confirmation? Because I don't know what path you were on before, what you thought you wanted, what you thought you were supposed to be aligned with. But Source is going to be showing somebody something. And then literally, I cut the deck in half courage. Oh, God. Not these cards just flew out like that. Wow. So did I take them with unmasking the truth? Somebody's going through like a... I don't know if somebody could have worn glasses. You know how in the, in the movies they have the person that was like dork or they used to look totally different. They used to wear the glasses and all of a sudden they go through like a makeover or glow up and people are like, who the hell is that? I feel like that's how something is going to happen for you. So have confidence. You could even feel like more self-confident instead of self-examining on this card, revelation. So I'm going to take these because I feel like it just flew out like that. It was supposed to with have courage, like have courage in this transformation that you're going through. It's like butterflies in her eyes. Somebody's sight is changing. Remember I said, wow, ask for source to show you who, show you who you are through source's eyes. Do you understand the type of revelation you're about to get? Life changing. This is my shadow work oracle. So somebody could be doing like a lot of self-reflecting shadow work, self-examination. It says the eyes see only what the mind is prepared to know. Oh, God. Is that not confirmation? As I just asked, ask the divine for source. Damn, I'm going to say it. I said prayer. I always pray. So I mean, shit. Let's do it again for the one time, for the fun time. So stories, show me who I am through your eyes. Open my eyes and my sight and my perception to who I truly am and the purpose that you've led inside of me. Allow me to see myself through the lens of you, source. I'm prepared to see that because it says the only the eyes only see what the mind is prepared to know. So you're going to be seeing stuff because at one point you were not prepared, baby. <laughs> baby, source is so cold. Lee, I don't know if y'all know who Lee is. Y'all can need to go look that up on YouTube from Naruto. You were not prepared. Like you had weights on you. I feel like it was more so protecting like yourself and others. You weren't prepared for this truth possibly about what the fuck you were supposed to do. Because it had you known how powerful your purpose was, this damn near would have scared you at one point. Or you would have been like, oh, hell no. Like... Or you would have like, I don't know, maybe you would have like made the wrong, now you're ready to see some form of truth. Now you're ready. I heard for some of y'all, y'all gifts was like on, it was lying dormant. Somebody got way more powerful gifts than you even realize. Somebody could like see spirits and you didn't even realize this. And now you're seeing shit on the corner of your eye. Like, what is this? Like, I'm, they doing something to the, they spraying stuff in the sky. No, baby, you are gifted. <laughs> you are gifted. And shit, maybe the stuff they spraying in the sky is what's to keep people from like opening up to their gifts. But baby, you are gifted and you're about to see just how like different, rare, gifted, and purposeful you have always been. Light the darkness. Something about a light, baby. And this is a different day. You have always been a light that was supposed to like spark the darkness for yourself around other people. And you know how you do that? Through love. I'm hearing. Through love. Same way my friends are telling me, you're too sensitive, you're too, in other words, you're too empathetic, you're too, you know, you're too, you're too loving, you're too, but baby, it's that same energy, it's that same sensitivity, it's that same, baby, you, you cry easily, maybe you're like, why do, it's the same sensitivity that allows you to be this gifted, you have to be a sensitive person to be gifted, otherwise you can't feel the gifts, you can't feel your intuition, it's an inner knowing, you can't, you know, so it says darkness cannot dispel darkness, only light can, and remember I said if I was in a, in a demonic energy, maybe these demons would take it easier on me, maybe they'll like me better. Maybe they will be on some like, okay, well, you know, maybe she's not that bad. Baby, they be on my ass. <laughs> and I might get it like they be tearing my ass up. No, they be trying to. Though. They be trying to stop me. Even Yeshua was tempted. So you think that your ass won't be tempted? Yeshua was on a goddamn 40-day strike <laughs> a fast. <laughs> and the devil come his ass over there talking about someone. If you really if you really who you say you is, jump your ass off this cliff and then, and then you know shit. Ask your angels to come pick you up. I mean, you don't get your, your cloaked, stinking ass off this mountain with me and I done been sitting here for 40 days and 40 nights not eating and here you come up here trying to tempt somebody. So it's some type of temptation that somebody could be going through. Maybe you're fasting. Maybe you're going through a, to a new level again and source told you like this is what you have to do to get there and it's like you're going to be tempted. You're going to be tested. Remember I said when you get to new levels, it's new devils. It's some type of level that you're going to and I heard principalities damn near. They're waiting for some, they're waiting. Shadow alchemy, baby. It's something about you. Remember I said it took you going through that hard time to learn how to battle and you to be the alchemist, to be the magician. Empowerment and rebirth, it says. You're going through a rebirth that's going to be very empowering with face inner demons. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> this is the card that flew out with these cards. Oh, shit. Yeah, it get like that. It get like that with the divine over here, y'all. It get like that. It get like that. You have to face these courage to face these inner demons. You have to have courage. These spirits wanted you to be trembling. Why would I tremble at the fucking spirits who need a legion to even take me on? You need a legion. Like, you can't, you're not even powerful by yourself. I'm a child of the divine. And you thought I was going to be afraid of anything you could throw my way? You need legions. Y'all are not even powerful by yourself. It takes legions of y'all to try to even shake a motherfucker's foundation. And it takes one angel to defeat the legion. Tuh. So talk about who, who. Anyways, yeah, call upon your angels. They ready to help you to war while you face these inner demons, baby. Huh. You could definitely be like a feminine or you could be the masculine because it's a feminine and a masculine on this card. Somebody's feminine and masculine could be going through this, but some form of a shadow alchemy that you're, you're dealing with. Um, it says turn shadows into gold by shifting your awareness. Somebody's awareness is awakening them. And remember I said you have to choose a path. Don't be afraid of the darkness. There is a light nearby and you are this light. I feel like for some of you, you're being guided towards someone who could be this light for you with half courage. So yeah, have courage. It says stop hiding, show up, and let yourself be seen. That's why that Leo energy is out there. Somebody could like you thought you were an introvert, or you used to being introverted, but you're actually an extrovert, or you're literally meant to be seen. You're meant to show up. You're meant to like people are meant to know what you. What was I saying? Arrogance, like something about arrogance. Have somebody could have like you could have like, don't let it get to your head now, but you could have been very arrogant in the past, or like um, it says not seeing flaws hinders growth. No limits. To learn and improve. Remember that card was saying you have to be open to learning. You have to be open to like new things. You have to. You don't know everything, okay? Um, you don't have all the answers. Even I don't have all the answers. Like shit, we can. I, I don't know everything. I can't see everything that's coming at all times. Like so, somebody here is like you're. You're very gifted. You're going through like this change where you're going to be able to like face your inner demons, cast out them, even if you have to. Um, and, and like wrestle these principalities or something like that. But it's something that source is trying to help you to work through because I feel like this energy of like arrogance too. Remember I said that's what caused the fall, but I just feel like that's symbolic for like, you you know, pride comes before the fall type of energy. So make sure that you're checking your, your ego or source may have caused a tower moment to cause you to like check your ego. Like you could have went through like a tower moment. Maybe you were on top at one point and source had to kind of, you know, like so that you could check yourself. I'm here before you wreck yourself because the path that you were going down was not a good path. But have compassion with self-compassion. Have compassion on yourself. You don't, you know, it says growth mindset, resilience. It takes growth. You don't know everything. You didn't know. You didn't have all the answers. It happens. You, you, it happens. So something about you needed to be compassionate with yourself. Maybe you need to forgive yourself for something you did in the past. Some type of path that you took. Some way of being. I feel like it was hindering growth. But that's what Source was kind of trying to tell you about. Maybe that's why your relationships are, was kind of like... Felt like you were battling or stuff was not harmonious at one point because maybe it was you. Maybe you had to watch the way you treated others. Maybe you kind of did. You know, I heard none of us sit too high to look down on anybody else. So something about that. But I feel like Source is helping somebody to combat these inner demons with resentment. You could resent yourself for like a mistake that you made in the past where you now need to forgive yourself. Or you hurt resentment against somebody or others in the past. And Source is saying now is the time to like... um. It says it often festers, causing a desire for revenge. Let go of the past, find peace. Somebody's like, source is helping you to find serenity, peace, literally. But you were holding on to some form of resentment that were, honestly, you were feeding these demons. You wondering like, you were feeding them. I'm hearing the only way that you can, the only way to starve them is first of all, you love like the divine loves because demons hate love, first of all. They hate that shit. Forgive, they hate that shit. They want you to be in the energy of like, Demons still mad about the fall. They still mad about that shit from so you know they don't forgive. Like you know, just be the opposite of like that energy, positive change because they're trying to help. I feel like your ancestors, your angels are helping you to bring this positive change in so you can embrace something. Or somebody could feel like they're in a void space, like almost like empty, you're not satisfied, but you have to embrace them the point that you're at to get to this ascension. Because you're definitely ascending. It says free. You're, you're breaking free. You're evolving. Remember I said it was some form of like a stronghold or a deliverance that somebody is going through. But it could have taken, maybe you were closed-minded before. Maybe it takes you like opening up your mind. Remember I said somebody being open with openness. You don't know everything. You don't have all the answers. The, the things that you thought you knew before were actually, that wasn't the real, that wasn't the answer. So you're about to experience some form of like a positive change. Wow, battle within. You were having a battle within. You had some form of like some type of warfare that you were combating. Some, something that you were, it was inner. It was like an inner demons that you were, that was like causing inner conflict. But I feel like now it's a resolution. I heard a uh, resolution by Aliyah. We need to reach a resolution or something like that. With control issues. Somebody definitely could have been dealing like with arrogance, control issues. Or like that could have been like your problem. Like you thought you knew everything. You wanted to have, even if it wasn't that, you just had to control everything. Like a control free type of energy. And when you feel like you're losing control, it's just like you don't know what to do. But you have to surrender control. That's that energy 
of like again taking the back you know like let somebody else kind of like guide the like let somebody else drive the boat and it's giving like the divine or like maybe somebody that's being guided into your life you could have felt a lot of shame and guilt from the past or like Maybe somebody that was connected to you that wants your forgiveness. They could be the one that's going through this. They could be the one that's battling something that they now need your help. They now need your help to free themselves from some type of stronghold or some type of resentment that they were holding on to. Or because you have the answer, I'm just feeling like take what resonates. But if you have control issues and you know that you were dealing with that, I feel like have compassion towards yourself or like um, some form of like inner acceptance with these inner demons that you were facing. Because it says confront your fears and addiction. Somebody could definitely be like dealing with addictions. I heard have peace. Um, or excuse me have a uh, grace on someone else because this could not be your energy for some of you who are actually having like you could be coming people could be coming to you with these problems or excuse me if someone who actually is heavily in your energy they need your help or like this person could be dealing with these issues there was some form of like addictions or again you could have been the one that maybe you were combating with some form of addiction a stronghold and i felt deliverance when i first came on here so whether it's you or some you you're you dealt with this maybe you already dealt with some form of addiction when you were younger or like you are still dealing with this but you are dealing with this so that when you're delivered you can help to deliver other people from strongholds other addictions maybe they weren't dealing with the same addiction as you maybe somebody had like a drinking addiction they're like you free yourself but then later you meet other people who had like an addiction to like food and addiction to like drugs but then it's like you went through you know addiction i'm hearing the spirit of addiction is the spirit of addiction you know the spirit really well or you knew something really well you went through you combated it um but it's time to confront that it's time to this battle whatever this addiction is bad habit that you were dealing with i do feel like now something about somebody definitely could have been like a drinker or something about like i don't know a drinker somebody could like to drink or something but i feel like this battle this was like a battle that you were dealing with or just time to confront this i don't know why it's giving me like noah in the belly of the i mean not noah jonah in the belly of the well something about having faith Somebody needed to believe. Well, didn't that happen to him because he did not believe or something like that? Or he was disobedient? I don't know. I want to look that up because I got to be significant. Because so it's just so intentional. So God sent a big fish. Some call it a whale to swallow Jonah and save him from drowning. While in the belly of the big fish, Jonah prayed to God. Um, so he initially disobeys God's command to like um, go to the wicked city of Nevaeh and give prophecy. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was I saying? I'm like, I know God is so intentional. Like, I'm over here like, let me look it up. Y'all, somebody's like being led. And you could have like, I don't know if somebody's like not listening to their guidance. And if you don't listen, I'm hearing obedience is better than a sacrifice. If you don't listen, you're going to wish you did. So let's fuck around. Send your ass to the belly of a whale. <laughs> you're gonna want to listen source could be guiding someone towards a certain land a certain person a certain and you feel this but you keep not listening to your guidance it's something about somebody has the gift of like prophecy or like um you have the gift of like her like prayer or something and um it says causing him to be swallowed up by the whale as punishment so somebody has been guided to like free other people be in your purpose or something like that but you or like to help somebody with some it's like you're <laughs> Whatever you're being guided to do, uh, you literally listen to your guidance. You With control issues here, you could have been trying to control the narrative, your purpose, or control what source has shown you that you're meant to do. You ain't got no control over that, boo. I know they talk about free will, but when it comes to chosen ones, if you know, you know, baby. All that free will shit. Like, yes, we still have free will. You can you can choose not to listen, but baby, are you going to be at odds with your damn self and your life going to be fucked up? And yeah. I've had people in my family tell me they deliberately did not follow their purpose because they didn't want what came with that. They didn't want the responsibility. And I was like, you got to be shitting me with divine juggling. Like, yeah, the divine is tough. It says master different aspects of yourself, both light and dark. Literally, somebody's learning how to balance their light and dark because source is not saying that the dark side of your, the dark side of you is something that needs to be thrown away. Oh no, baby, that dark side of, that was put inside of you because I'm hearing just as just as much light as you have because this whole reading was talking about somebody's light and how important it is that you use it because I heard it can spark a revolution, baby. It can awaken so many souls, but that darkness in you goes so damn deep. And that's why these demons was like, damn, they're trying. Maybe they was on your ass. Like, yeah, because you have both light and dark. It comes from your divine energy, okay? You have that. So I heard, like, the same darkness is meant to combat these, these like, you, obviously you can't, like I said, you can't light, 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 dark, bring dark to dark. Like, you have to bring the light. But I'm giving you have that same darkness in you to combat that damn energy. Like, yes, it's the lightness as well. But when that darkness is needed, you can bring that darkness about you too. So you're using the power of the light and the dark. And you know how to, like, juggle that to your benefit. It's giving the magician, is it not? With this damn hat on, like he's giving them a pulling like something out of your hat type of energy, but alchemy. 
heal through art, something about art, something that you're meant to be doing. Like somebody could be called to like do art or be an artist or like whatever you could think is art, like making videos online. That could be your art. Something that you do is made of it's divine purpose. So it's art. Somebody could be like a tattoo artist and that's your art. Your art could be like music and you've been facing a lot of demons. When you put that shit in your music, that's your art. You know, somebody could be like a poet. That's your art. Somebody could do something in front of people where like you are an actor. That's your art. But it's going to help you to almost express your, your light in your dark. It's when it, you know how people say they do like that when they act or whatever. It's like they're living out different versions of themselves or different characters, different lives and stuff like that. Somebody, it's like, it says express your shadows in art and let healing unfold. So it's something about you putting that into your, with the wounded healer, you're literally went through everything that you went through so that you can help to heal others. It says the wound is the place where light enters you through those wounds, through those cracks in your beings. And that's where the light is going to be entering in through. And that's where growth happens. I'm hearing healing, purpose, and empathy. Literally. One more card, sort of. Shadow blossom. So somebody's about to blossom through this shadow energy that you're in. I'm hearing the rose that grew from the concrete. Hmm. Harlem Rose. Ain't that what it's called? That's the song by Tiana, Tiana Taylor. Something about the, like you, would you trust a would you trust a flower to bloom in a dark room or something like that? A rose. You could have like bloomed in like a lot of darkness. And like I don't know if people thought they could. You know how they were saying, like if somebody is born, somebody comes from like survival, you can't trust them or something like I don't know. Somebody could have came through like a very hard background or something like that. But you actually are very still loving and nurturing and like an empath. But that's why you went through something and you still bloom through some form of like darkness. It says you need both sunlight and darkness to bloom fully, resilience and nourishing. So it took both the light and the dark to get you to where you are now. Hmm. would you trust if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room would you trust it that's Kendrick Lamar's poetic justice um, lyrics trust it goes hand in hand with like trust and vulnerability in a dark world you are somebody who still you trust you still have the ability to like trust to still be open to still heal to still love to still be kind and empathetic to still nurture others and be resilient in a world that's very dark or a world that has always tried to put you down or like kind of like turn your lights off damn near somebody could be working through like a lot of anger like anger issues or something like that or working through these patterns within yourself and i feel like you're exactly where you need to be right now this is a beautiful reading this is a very beautiful reading with mother earth so somebody could be like an earth sign this is giving like the queen of pentacles in this deck Mother of Earth, fertile ground. Somebody's like very fertile, very her very grounded, very stable energy. With the ancestral force and completion, baby, you got your whole ancestral force behind you. You don't gotta believe me, but you feel this energy, or you will. You got the whole ancestral force behind you. I feel like yeah, we got the trickster here. Trickster spirits have to flee. I heard you are somebody who is going to be like revealing, or something about like you are like the whistleblower, or you are like again like somebody's meant to like bring. Uh, you are meant to like prophesy. Or something like that. Because it can say Jonah initially disobeys God's command to go to the wicked city of ne Nevaeh. I don't know if that's Nevaeh. And give prophecy. But it said God actually sent the uh, sent the well to keep him from drowning too. So it's like he didn't just do it to like punish him. But it was like, you know. So it's something about God loving his enemies and putting up with the Jonah and all of us. Um, so it generates great humility and gratitude or something about that. I don't know if Jonah had to learn humility. Remember that word of like arrogance kept coming up? So Jonah could have been very arrogant or like he just didn't listen. The themes in this in this story of Jonah was being sorry, saying sorry, forgiveness, the importance of apologizing, making up with fans after a falling out. Baby, somebody could be somebody. I feel like it's a friend that's being led towards someone. It could be being led towards you, a prophet, a seer, because I, actually somebody could have made a mistake with you in the past. And that they, it's something about some form of re remember I said that a reconciliation where somebody may now need your help or they're being guided. Source is literally guided towards someone towards you. They could be having like dreams about you. They're hearing things about you. But source has been on somebody ass to kind of like make amends with you especially if this person was like in the wrong or like it's some form of forgiveness somebody has to actively i'm here and say sorry in a situation and i feel like you are somebody baby you are so forgiving or like 
I don't know if somebody thought that like, somebody could have been very self-centered towards you or they thought you were self-centered. It's something about somebody needs to say sorry in this situation. But I feel like this is why source is telling you like forgiveness is the way to like, is the key. Forgiveness is the key to like healing and moving forward because I feel like somebody's going to be tested to see if they're humble enough to say sorry to you if they've learned a lesson. And then also I feel like it's a test for you too. And so you got to forgive this person and take them back, but it's a test for you too. So it was some type of trickster energies here that was possibly trying to like take a situation with the star. Oh my God. To stop some form of healing coming. It says spiritual rebirth. To stop some form of a spiritual rebirth that you were going through as well with mother God. But look who's here. Source is not going to allow that to happen. I feel like something that's supposed to, someone that's supposed to be in your life, something that's supposed to be in your life, but whoever you are, you are the one going through the spiritual rebirth though with the star card. You're meant to be like shining a star. You're meant to be very expressive or a healer. And I do feel like it's a situation that could be coming back around for somebody in particular that I feel like it could have been like very more so e trickster spirits working through a situation maybe somebody's ego was in excess at one point you could need to like have mercy on this person or compassion but it says miracles in motion so for some of you yeah something that's coming in for you with the star card and mother God it's gonna be like a miracle with father God out here this came out in my last reading just like this and this could even have to do with some form of love that source is actually aligning for y'all Mother and Father God, radical truth. So I feel like whatever this miracle is, that's emotion is going to bring this radical truth in for you. This could be somebody revealing the truth to you. This could be, this has to do with this spiritual rebirth. But again, the universe, Mother and Father God. Remember I said, um, ask for source to show you the truth through her eyes. And I said his eyes. So shit, his and her eyes. Because I heard the Trinity is the mother and the father too. So it's like, yeah, the divine period is bringing this love overflowing with this altar of water into your life. So for some of you, it's like you are like on this healing path with the goddess circle, will of change. It's this will of fortune. Somebody's like a you are like a goddess reincarnated or you're like the embodiment of like this some form of like this will of fortune though is the goddess circle. It's like the goddess on its will of fortune. It's like you could be connecting with like different goddess like energies with the patriarch, unapologetic, it's very un unapologetic. Somebody has like a, a masculine ancestor that's very uh, significant. He watches over you. Something about the male, that's, some, yeah, 111. <laughs> Something about the male um, head of a family. I say 1111 actually. The patriarch, uh, something about something about you could be the male here, or you meant to be like a very powerful, you could be the male, the divine masculine that's watching. You are meant to be like a very powerful, like um, I heard like leader in your bloodline, or you were called to do something in your bloodline. Something about a divine feminine and divine masculine could be coming together or a divine masculine could be watching. Or again, it's like a divine, it's like a, it's like a masculine on the other side for some of y'all. And this person very unapologetic with the way that they come through for you. I do feel like I heard uh, something about uh, like somebody could work with like Shango. With the peacemaker. Wow. So whoever it is, uh, I feel like it could be. A, okay, so I take this two different ways. So this, so this ancestor could actually be helping you to make peace in your life. For, like things that maybe at one point were unbalanced that brought you some form of like mental despair. I feel like now you're going to go into a place of, yeah, total disruption. Wow. So you're going to get peace in the situations or situations that were bringing disruption and chaos into your life. And I'm also getting in a space of, it was somebody to be in guided towards you guys, whoever's watching you or shit. Somebody's being guided towards someone. I feel like with this energy of the patriarch with unapologetic baby, um, this could have been somebody that was very unapologetic at one point, but I actually feel like they're being guided towards you to make peace in the situation. Remember that card was talking about, I mean, that story with Jonah, somebody needs to say sorry, or that could have been a lesson that somebody was going through. Like you were in the belly of the whale because maybe you had to learn how to not to be so arrogant or like so prideful, egotistical, or this could have been you. So it says persistent patience. So some type of peace that's coming into your life, uh, be persistent with your efforts. But I do feel like it's a masculine energy that could be significant that's protecting somebody on the other side or that's coming towards somebody with the root of earth, literally. <laughs> Oh, God, I love the divine. I love the divine so much. So inspired action. Somebody needs to take, like, inspired action. I feel like you're a leader, though. Somebody's going to be like, it's, uh, the masculine and the feminine, or whoever I'm talking to, on oh, this Mother Earth card, I mean, yeah, Mother of Earth is, um, so the root of Earth is like the Page of Pentacles. So I don't know if somebody's like in the page right now, page energy, but they're still growing. I feel like you, Divine Feminine, you're already like, you could be the one that's in this healer energy. You could be the one that somebody's being guided towards. Maybe y'all have a purpose that y'all meant to set out with together with the twins. This could be a twin flame with love overflowing, the, the water, the altar of water. Somebody needs to put water on their altar. But I'm definitely getting like conscious connection. Somebody's twin flame is waking, awakening with Father. I don't know if it's like a fire sign. 
Um, but baby, somebody's twin flame could be like awakening to a connection or some form of love that's meant to be in their life, some form of a higher level purpose that they have with you. Well, you got the root of water here, highly sensitive. Well, what was I saying? You are a highly sensitive individual, but you are supposed to be. It's a, it's a part of your purpose with the matriarch now coming out. Literally, I'm talking to the divine feminine with that energy, with good juju. And that's why you're getting good karma because you've always been empathetic and kind and nurturing and good hearted. Where people could have made, tried to make you feel like it was you was too sensitive. You were a problem. Now the matriarch and the, the, the patriarch are here. The mother and the father. I feel like something about a cancer and a Capricorn could be significant because Capricorn is the father of the zodiac and cancer is the mother of the zodiac but it's something about mother and father energy patriarch and matriarch you could have like a, a mother energy on the other side as well that's significant but i feel like it's something about like a divine feminine and the divine masculine coming together or you are very balanced in your masculine and feminine energy but i'm more so getting like yeah with this altar of fire good juju and that love overflowing somebody could be like welcoming in with the chief's test. it says strength tested you went through your trials and tribulations you went through your test you and your person but I feel like it's something about the divine masculine that this change they're going through this 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 uh with the hunter is soul awakening altar of air clarity like somebody's getting like their soul is awakening to some form of truth and clarity leadership so yeah I don't know if a, it could be like a fire sign or an air sign that's in everything somebody's meant to be like a leader the grid with blessed here you're going to be really blessed for being in your purpose with the high priestess somebody could be a high priestess inner knowing this intuition somebody could with trust it says shaman trust the path it's like you have a you have a healing path you are a shaman excuse me i'm here like you've been led on like a, a shaman shamanic path or something like that somebody could be like a loner or like um especially like if you like an air sign or like a uh, mask with the unknown somebody could be like stepping into the unknown emotional self-care i feel like take care of your emotions right now something is like uh you may not know the next stages of something like that card was saying in the beginning release the fear of the unknown something about motherly energy you're in a very like somebody could be like a mother soon or like getting pregnant soon like you could be like in a very motherly energy shine and rise it says here so um somebody's basically like shining in this lifetime Creature of water, the judge, and the monarch is here victorious. So you're going to be very victorious. You are like the monarch energy. Creative expression, it talks about, and poetic justice. This is going to be justice. Remember that car was talking about let your art heal you? So somebody could be going to a line of like a creative endeavor, something that you do for a creative expression. I see something like this going to be as a form of justice. It's actually supposed to, something that you're supposed to do to bring balance. That's that Libra energy into this like realm for yourself and not just yourself, but for others with the root of fire. It says risk it all. Somebody may be taking a leap of faith soon, a very big risk I'm hearing. That's almost going to be like you're risking it all. But I heard that it's actually going to work out way better than you ever expected. But you were like being guided on like a path of like healing and transformation. That's something about a testimony, literally, with the loner isolation and introspection. Somebody could have definitely been like a loner at one point, or you stayed to yourself. Um, we're gonna go ahead and close out though. This is pretty much all I'm reading. I'm gonna pull actually three cards from this deck. limitless and that card came out in the other deck too it says access to infinite potential somebody could be like dreaming and when you get messages in your dreams your structure build a strong foundation and that's saturn energy somebody could be a Aquarius or a capricorn i feel like whatever you went through was like a lesson to help you to build a stronger foundation for yourself i heard build thicker skin to help you to, to you know when you go through with like say you you hurt yourself and you get like a wound and then when that wound covers up what happens it's like a scab or like a you know it, the skin that grows on top is thicker like i'm hearing the wound like when it heals like whatever that skin that heals is thicker like so something about thicker skin or like for protection something that you went through again like source allowed you to get swallowed up but it was really too for his protection like source could have allowed something to happen to you that you saw as like a setback you saw as like damn why did this happen but it was actually for your protection with storm some form of storm that you went through disruption chaos change it was to bring a disruption to the i heard the 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 status quo something that you were in the flow of you were used to it you were comfortable in that energy maybe a lifestyle maybe friends but if you would have kept hanging with them friends if you would have kept on that path baby her destruction chaos shit you thinking what you went through was sacred waters i am in the divine flow now sources help you to move into karma waters ancestors guess who's helping you your ancestors somebody like you could have like a picture of like an ancestor up i'm hearing like this that ancestor guidance protection lessons Facing fears. They're all helping you to face your fears, courage, and inner strength. 
somebody really needs to get some rest i do feel like you could be a little exhausted or your spirit you wonder why you've been resting so much it's because your spirit is tired like you, you've been on gold and maybe you could feel like my physical body isn't but your spirit is you could do a lot of like you could do a lot of moving around in the astral realm like somebody is a healer here so it's time to nourish your mind body and spirit with vulnerability yeah i feel like somebody's about to have to really be vulnerable or you're being pushed to like be vulnerable be more vulnerable what are you feeling um to connect with other people like you may have to be vulnerable on like a path that you're choosing unconditional divine love especially but i feel like somebody that's being guided towards y'all whether this is platonic or romantically i do feel like source is testing your ability to love to unconditionally love like divine loves see it's like angel wings like somebody's like you're being tested and it could be like with a, like a soulmate or like a soulmate could be a friend, like platonic or romantic. Like somebody could feel guided to come towards you or like to, to make amends or reconcile a situation. And I feel like this person actually has been going through like a big change. But source could be like testing you with center point, grounded, sovereign, centered. Yeah, with wonder. I feel like you could be like really in a curious energy right now. Transcendence, awe, it says. Like, I don't know. You're transcending a lot. You could be very like questioning everything like this is giving like a, a awakening that you've gone through medicine journey realization heal awakening awaken to me so yeah everything is being confirmed like you went through like a medicine journey um but this is that journey that you're being called upon like you could be like a medicine man a medicine woman or a healer very fierce it says so stand in your power in the past you could have been like i don't know damn or dim in your own light or you didn't you weren't awakened to who you were but you're very fierce or now you're awakened to who you are and you're in this fierce energy because of shadow work it says shadow work forgiveness and unconditional love and i feel like that's going to help you to like be more in the energy of unconditional love and just love without condition and like that's just a very great vibration to be on not just for yourself but other people too and it helps you like to meet like-minded individuals and like individuals a lot of shadow work that somebody's doing is going to help to like transform them with this butterfly again limitless to align you with access to infinite potential I don't know whatever it is that you've been dreaming of it says curious messages endless possibilities you could be dreaming of a certain place a certain person a certain lifestyle or a certain purpose i feel like patience is going to get you there but also like this self inner work that you've been doing like this shadow work that sources has been causing somebody to do with pakahamama <laughs> blessings from the great mother so somebody's about to be blessed but it's like yeah with protection listen to your guidance you are highly protected let me put that up there ooh, ooh, yeah baby somebody's very protected <laughs> shield preserve conserve you could be conserving or preserving your energy right now shielding your energy somebody could work with like crystals remember i said something about the color blue or i came to michael but you're definitely be, about to be like blessed from like the mother spirits or like the great mother the divine somebody could see a lot of dragonflies um that's also symbolic for like awakenings too um so something about you being very protected at this time innocence inner child play nurture somebody's definitely like healing the inner child something about you returning to like a state of innocence i, I see that you stay in this energy of like like this inner child like very sensitive very like empathetic and kind like or somebody's like being guided to go back to that place of being an inner child and like heal so yeah i feel like that innocence this, this innocence though that some of you like you live in this innocence and I, that's why the divine has like chosen you to with the unknown to something about you going into the unknown and you have to have confidence and know that what did that card say it always works out for you not sometimes it always does with pure joy that's what lies beyond this energy of like fear or the unknown the seraphim wow well maybe i was just saying you ain't a damn seraphim but i feel like somebody has like a very powerful seraphim or angel that be around them connected to them or watching them and that's a very very powerful high level ranked angel i'm um, gonna say as guardians awakener purity somebody has like a very powerful angel that like follows them and guides them and this person, like this angel is very like, they're guiding you on a path that you're supposed to be on to awaken to like your you, your own purity. This is a guardian angel. Shit, I don't say it, somebody might not be. You might be, shit, are you? <laughs> so yeah, recreation. They're helping you to, it says inception, genesis, manifestation. Something is in like the beginning stages. And I feel like this is you through like an ascension, an evolution, uh, something that you're going through. Where source is helping you to create a new you, create a new life. A new way of being. I am light. Somebody needs to look up that song, I Am Light by India Ari. Pure divine essence. Literally, you're stepping into your highest self. And again, something about the seraphim, that you're you really protected. Surrender and trust your highest self. It says you don't have you, you, you don't have to control everything. You don't control everything. <laughs> I am a temple. I feel like you're returning to like this sacred space. You are a light and you are a temple. Through this rebirth and metamorphosis that you're going through. Somebody's name could be like Genesis. It's a new beginning that's coming in for you. But it's coming through this rebirth that source is helping you to like align with. Okay, well, that's beautiful. We 
gifts. Somebody is definitely gifted. You're divinely gifted. You're about to be gifted by the divine as well. Productivity. Again, that's why Source is telling somebody to rest because you're going to be working. Or like in your purpose or like something that you do with eruption, yeah, and decay. I feel like something is like, hmm, with eruption and decay is giving me like that energy of like uh, lying dormant. Things that were like lying dormant. Maybe your gifts were like lying, lying dormant, but now it's like coming to the, the forefront. But I'm also getting like with this decay energy, old energies are being decayed. Like they're decaying with influence. Somebody's going to have like a high level of like influence. This could have scared you at one point or like your gifts are going to have, I heard you, your gifts were like, your gifts will make room for you. Something that's about to erupt. I'm definitely getting like this energy. I also heard like those demons that were like lying dormant, that they lie in like those places, like with dreams. Somebody's influence. I don't know. Somebody could have like a dream to be an influencer. Like again, um, you could have dreams of like somewhere that you're being guided to. But up, I'm telling you, upheaval. Somebody has it's been having like dreams or like your dreams are like cautioning you or like revealing things to you. I feel like your influence is about to be very like large and it's significant. I heard somebody could be like opening up their own store or healing shop, metaphysical shop. Somebody's meant to do something like really like great in this lifetime with vulnerability, but it's going to take you being able to be vulnerable and connect with others or somebody that's in particular that's coming towards you. It's something about vulnerability with obstacle. Because honestly, that could have been an obstacle in the past for you to be vulnerable, to open up emotionally or to like somebody could have had like an obstacle. Maybe that was the obstacle between you and like an unconditional love or that's supposed to be in your life. Vulnerability. It's childhood. Somebody's childhood could have something to do with why they can't really be vulnerable or why they had issues opening up or why they, you know what I'm saying? So take it easy or that could be why you need to have mercy on someone. It's something about childhood energy, like with that inner child card that came out with combustion. So somebody's childhood could have a lot to do with like why they hold a lot in and why they almost like afraid to be vulnerable. Why it kind of seemed like it was like trying to roll a rock, like a, like a big ass rock up a large hill when it came to dealing with someone or maybe people felt that way about you. But I feel like because you have to heal these childhood wounds or something like that with disguise, it was given like it was only a disguise. That's not who you really were. That's not who someone else really was or something like that and look what's in his hand it's a fish so it could be like a masculine that's going through like this energy of like jonah energy or like they were going through like a lesson with potential so i definitely feel like there's potential in a situation with like a masculine or like somebody that could be meant to be in your life or this could have been you like it was a disguise that almost like you were wearing because of like these energies that you needed to heal but i feel like it's more potential in a situation with paths so somebody's being led on like a divine path baby with protection and you are really i heard this new path is actually where all the divine protection lies so you are being, this is like your protection, like where you're being guided. It's going to be like a, it's like a baby goat, baby. It's like a goat. So somebody could be like a Capricorn. It's like a hand over it. It's like a native, it's like a native thing. Somebody could be like a native or like somebody could have been like trying to silence you, but you're very protected. I heard like, don't tell too many people what you're doing. Don't resist this change either. You're so protected, but it's even given like sheep energy too. Source is always going to protect like the lambs. You know, source is called like the lamb of, I mean the divine, the lamb of God or whatever. Something's going to be very harmonious for you. And I do feel like it could be like this new path of release. Like you have to release, um, re you have to release this resistance. We're released at the bottom of the deck. Release this resistance that you are holding on to towards this purpose, towards this path. Separate. So I don't know if you ever, were, you were almost like resisting like a separation or maybe bringing something together or reflection. Somebody's been doing like a lot of reflection and maybe that, keeping yourself separate from something or someone was like i don't know you could have been like resisting we got earth here earth sign could be significant but it's definitely like somebody has been trying to like ground themselves or like do a lot of inner reflection self-reflection with connection i remember i said something about somebody could have been like keeping away from a connection that's supposed to be in their life or like yeah with earth and connection so somebody could have like an earth sign that's meant to be in their life or like you feel very connected to the earth with support and i do feel like somebody was meant to support you or you're meant to like support each other it's something about like somebody that's meant to be in somebody's life and it could be like an earth sign or like um something about an earth sign gaining support because of your connection to like the divine the earth or like you're really connected with support and water it could be like a water and an earth sign we got water and earth with abundance so that's the only two you know I definitely feel like this is definitely giving me the, like healing energy connected deeper to your roots too but it's definitely could be a water and an earth sign that's significant or that had like a purpose together with abundance here and memory i feel like again like yeah some, something about ooh, somebody could be like thinking of you or evolution like somebody's like changing or something like that or some type of change is coming in like a connection or like for some of you just period in your life it's giving like water too like that jonah energy or like you went through like some form of like one more can I get one more card, Source? Can I get one more card? 
responsibility and this is going to take great responsibility whether you're an earth sign or water sign whatever the case may be i feel like some type of some type of seeds that you've planted with plants here are now going to be blo blooming or growing some form of a responsibility that the divine is bestowing upon you i feel like it's going to take great like almost like it's going to take a lot of like discipline responsibility you being open to learn new skills new things like you don't know everything when it comes to yeah because you don't know everything when it comes to like this this new path or like this new something that sources you're going to possibly have to like learn a new skill a new you know way of doing something like i don't would conceal but it could be hidden from you right now or something could be like hidden I do feel like all of this is, is coming out or happening for a reason. But the world card definitely giving me like a new, a new you, a new version, a new energy coming in. I heard like a breath of fresh air. It's going to be so different with the Ace of Cups. So this could be like having to do with like new love that even comes in. Something that you're going to really love with the High Priestess. You could really love like a line of work that you're in. Uh, possibly like... um. You could be a high priestess. Somebody is like a tarot reader or like a healer with the empress. Definitely. We got Pisces, Taurus energy out here. You coming out as this empress energy. And I feel like empress, you're you're really called and you're going to be really loved for whatever this is that you do. You could do something on the world wide web or like the, the, the online with the hermit. You're very wise. You're very spiritual with the hermit and his high priestess. Like you're very wise. Like you have a lot of wisdom to give. the full card like you have a lot to give and i'm also feeling like some type of uh venture or leap of faith that you're taking it could happen to even do with like a reconciliation or a friend coming back around for you i feel like um i, I do feel like somebody's um almost like worried this could be like a friend or okay so somebody could be worried about like a king of pentacles coming in for you and it could be like an air sign at the ace of swords so yeah i feel like you do have somebody that you could be meeting on this this purpose or somebody that's meant to join you it could be like two earth signs i mean we got the empress and the, it could be like a are two earth signs shit but it don't have to be but you could just be this emperor and whoever this king of pentacles is that's coming into, i mean this empress excuse me you could identify like as an emperor energy or show up more as emperor whether you're masculine or feminine um or a woman or a man but i, I do feel like yeah somebody's coming in or somebody's could be meant to like join a path with you with the ace of swords knight of cups with the three of swords and the star card so somebody could even have to heal themselves on their journey or again like you had to heal from something it's something about like healing energy you being a healer maybe you're guided somebody's being guided towards you because you can help them to heal i definitely feel like um, somebody's meant it's a it's a capricorn it's a capricorn baby <laughs> somebody have like a capricorn masculine that's significant i do feel like it's some form of like uh, a collaboration that's meant to come in for whoever you are you could be network networking with new people. Heavy earth sign energy out here. I got nothing but earth. King of pentacles, knight of pentacles, all this pentacles. Three of pentacles. Like somebody wants to collaborate with you with justice. And it would be your justice. I feel like somebody has been going back and forth on like joining a path with the two of pentacles. Like they kind of been juggling on if they should or if they shouldn't. And it definitely could be like a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn. It would be very successful. Like, something will be very successful. And I definitely feel like with this Justice card out here, like, it's actually, like, you and this person are meant to, like, this would balance the scales. Could be a Libra with the moon. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. The King of Wands. Okay. With the Eight of Pentacles. Work. Somebody's meant to work in the same, like, line of work with you. Y'all could be meant to, like, do some form of, like, a purpose together or, like, again. But something would be very successful, especially if you already are in the line of work yourself and you're very, like, you have some form of success for yourself. Source could be sending someone almost in to, like, support you or, like, get, like, they're meant to, like, meet you so they can get some form of, like, healing through you or, like, something, like, they're meant to do and maybe they join a path with you with the Justice card and the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Like, I'm definitely feeling, like, yeah, strength, Leo energy. Two of cups. Well, I wouldn't lie. Four of wands. You and somebody has like a contract. Listen, y'all have like a divine contract or union in this lifetime to like something that y'all are meant to do. I feel like actually y'all are meant to like with the strength card. Like y'all are meant to like help other people to like see their own inner power and strength or like something like that with judgment. And the divine has called judgment on a situation like between you and this person. But it's concealed right now with the moon. A king of wands could be a fire sign. I do feel like somebody is actually guided towards you though. Or they're meant to get on a certain path with you with the lovers. A Gemini. It could be. But it's definitely giving like a love situation that somebody, the, the two of cups and the lovers, like a high level soulmate type of situation because y'all have a purpose together. 
Like y'all have a purpose together. I feel like somebody at one point could have been like in denial about this. It could be something coming to an end with you and someone else, actually. you I don't know if you were being guided to let go of someone else so that you could actually get with like a real divine counterpart or like on a, on a real divine path with the will of fortune. But uh, whatever is meant for you, who's ever meant for you, I do feel like it's going to come around when it's time. It's something about karma right now, though. You could have been in like karmic connections or karmic situations um, or you and your person. Like something about, yeah, could have been like a lot of like conflict that was like slowing down something from coming together or like a path that you were meant to be on with someone or it's just a path period with the eight of wands and the will of fortune. I see communication or forward movement fast forward movement coming in and i do feel like again it has to do with this change that sources your, your spirit guides are trying to direct you on the path of especially like somebody getting out of a certain like lifestyle or a way of being or you know um so that you could fully be in your purpose i do feel like something would only like if you stayed on a path with someone it would only like have or on a certain path it was only gonna stretch you out you would, you would have regretted it too but you're actually moving towards ace of pentacles nine of cups whatever this path is that you're, you're moving towards it's going, you're going to be blessed, I heard, handsomely. It's going to be very, like, it's not for the money, though, but you're going to find emotional fulfillment through it. Like, in the past, it was, like, voids that you were filling because you were filling yourself with the wrong things, with the wrong people. You weren't fully satisfied with the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like um, this is going to be protected. Again, a, 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 mm, a fire sign could be coming in and, like, protect somebody. I definitely get that because we have the King of Wands here. Now we have the Queen of Wands here. I don't know. But somebody could see you as being like very uh Ten of Pentacles. I'm gonna stop there though. I do feel like this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, this is like a legacy that you're meant to build with someone. And it could come through like again romantically, somebody that's meant to come in for you with the moon card. And again, I always feel like Source wants to keep this hidden with the magician. So it's something that you are manifesting into your life right now, or somebody's manifesting you, or whatever the case may be. I do feel like this is something that's meant to be in your life long term. Also, it's supposed to go towards like a legacy or purpose that possibly you and this person are supposed to um, like almost like uphold together, like with that contract that you both have in the spiritual realm. It's like, so something that could be why you're almost being like guarded. I mean, excuse me, guided to like forgive someone or like reconcile in this situation it could be a king of wands uh -huh. Aries Leo Sag but I say a guarded I don't know if you're the one that's guarded towards someone or they're guarded towards you so yeah with temperance I don't know if it's like a Sagittarius Aries Leo <laughs> but uh somebody does want to like balance out a situation with you um from the past they want to heal something or like with the Hierophant and I do feel like this person is being guided to it definitely could be an Aries with this Emperor and the Hierophant so if we were dealing with like an Aries or like a fire sign, I do feel like something could come back around and you're actually like, you could be feel like guided to like forgive someone or like give someone another chance if you feel guided to um, trust your guidance. But that is the reading. This was like a very beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, Should I claim this energy? Um, It's coming in for you though. Whoever this is or whatever this is, uh, through the work that you're doing, I'm feeling like somebody's eyes is being awakened or opened. Um, So stay open to change. Stay open to a new, just a, just new beginnings um coming in for you and that is the reading you guys like share and subscribe love you